Hey, Jolene. My man, Nicholas. What's up, G? Uh, I'm so excited to meet you. You excited to meet me? Bro, I got a whole list of stuff on this paper why I should be excited to meet you. <laughs> why are you excited to meet me? Um, because you're like so cool, you're, like you're awesome. Thank you, man, I appreciate that. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm cool and I'm awesome. <laughs> Nicholas Buama, that's how you pronounce it, right? Dan, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, I am a 10-year-old published author, and I just turned 10 um, last February 17th. So um, I literally just turned 10. And I have my <laughs> own nonprofit called Books Without Borders. Books Without Borders? Yes. What made you want to start your own nonprofit, Books Without Borders? Um, well, because I really don't remember, because that was um, a long time ago, but... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I wanted to help kids in underprivileged communities, so right. I was trying to think of something to do. And then I thought um, having my own nonprofit would be the perfect idea. So I started up my nonprofit, Books Without Borders, where I donate books to kids in underprivileged communities. Because of COVID, uh, I've been donating essential supplies like water, hand sanitizer, soap, and more. And there you go. They doing everything, man. You got your, you started a nonprofit, Books Without Borders, but you have your own book also, right? Uh, yes. It's called Kale and Kyle, The Walking Dictionaries, Election Day. And I also have um, a part two on that coming out this month. Really? Uh-huh, yeah. And then two more books that will be coming out this year. It says that you have recently become one of the, the youngest recording artists and music producers registered with BMI. Yes, um, because the money, st the money that I've made out of my books, uh, I actually invested that into this project. So you making money, writing books, and you making investments already <laughs> yes. at 10 years old? Man, you doing better than some of the grown people <laughs> that I be having on here. Man, so it says that you have, your father is from Ghana? Yes, he's from Ghana, which is um, a country in Africa. And I can also speak some of the language. It's nah, called bro, let me hear some. <laughs> That's the same. I said hello. Now you can um, respond by saying boko. Boko. <laughs> Which <laughs> you're basically just like saying um, I'm doing like when I since I'm saying hello, you're saying kai back basically. Man, you smart as, bruh. <laughs> bruh, you hey man. I, I don't even know the words for this little dude, bruh. Bruh, you you something else, man. They, you got pictures on here with former presidents, mayors, um, ambassadors. You met with the ambassador of Ghana? Uh, yes, I got to be the ambassador for one whole day. The ambassador- They let you, hold up, bro. Wait, see, you can't just say this fast. They let you be the ambassador to Ghana for one day. Yes, because <laughs> I got to sit in the chair and everything. It was so much fun. I don't even know what to tell you, bro. <laughs> you got it all figured out, man. So tell me a little bit about your album, this your musical debut on the clock. Uh, yeah, I just came out with a music video, and you guys can check that on YouTube, um, which is my YouTube channel is Nicholas Buama. But yeah, uh, I called up a whole bunch of my friends, and they all came down to come do this with me. And it was a lot of fun, and it was basically an excuse to get out the house and right. do something. <laughs> right. So, Are you yeah. the only child? Yes. Oh, and okay. I have been begging for either another child or a puppy. Get a puppy. Trust <laughs> me. Trust me. Get a, get a puppy, man. Wait, you, do you have a puppy? 
I mean, I don't. I have some brothers. That's why I'm telling you to get a puppy. <laughs> but listen, I got brothers and sisters. Trust me, get that puppy, man. <laughs> Bro, you had a cool haircut, man. Who your barber? Um, see, you didn't know I was going to ask you that, did I? I did not. Nah, see? But I like it, though. You do got a cool cut. Thank you. I just got it today, actually. Worry, I'm bald, bro. <laughs> this is about as good as it gets. <laughs> so what else have you been up to, man, during this quarantine besides all the hard work, writing books, shooting videos? I'm still mad you ain't letting me get in the video, too. I'm just letting you know that. Okay. <laughs> I'll make sure in the next one. Word. What else been going on with you, though, man? Um, I like to play basketball. Right. I like to read. I really love to play the piano. Right. And um, I like to play games, play my Xbox. Right. And I get to talk to my friends through my Xbox since I can't just go out and play with them. Right. So, yeah. What do you I'm... miss most about, like, actually going to school? We haven't got to hear from, like, any 10-year-olds about, you know, how the whole quarantine and stuff has been going on. Do you miss actually, like, going to school and stuff like that? At first, I didn't think I would, right. <laughs> but now, now you like, you really yeah, get back. I really miss it because I miss hanging out with my friends, yeah. um, and it's like, it's a whole bunch in the class, and it's just like, it's, it was a lot of fun in school. I really miss it. Yeah. So you made a video from the BET Awards yes. that you saw <laughs> me, Chico, and DC on. <laughs> yeah. So tell it, me a little bit about it. Um, well, that was a slow-mo shot, and... Uh, how that came about is one day I was scrolling to YouTube and I had seen a clip of the BET Awards and I had seen your slow-mo shot in that. So I thought that was like the coolest thing. Really? <laughs> yeah. I made them give us that slow-mo. Did you know they tried to cut our slow-mo shot? Wait, they did? They tried to cut the slow-mo shot. They was like, it's taking too long because it was like the shoot was going real long and I was like, nope, we need the slow-mo shot. And that's why I was like, bro, I made them give us a, a slow-mo shot. So that's that was the funny. one. I'm so glad that I fought for my creative integrity because that seemed <laughs> to be your favorite part. <laughs> so you recreated the slow-mo shot with your crew? Uh, yes. And what we did, since you since you guys were using the older cards, you guys are the older generation. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, since we're, we are the uh, new generation, we got the... Real, like, really nice um, Corvettes. Like, they were super nice. Oh, so you trying to say your Corvettes were nicer than the cars we used? Basically. Oh, so you want to challenge us? Yeah. You want to challenge? All right, man. Cool. I'm going to get some Lamborghinis for the next one then. Lambos? Yeah. Did you know we have a whole gang of people in Ghana who watch this show? Wait, really? Yeah. Wow. They always tell us, man, you got to come to Ghana. So give them a shout out, man. Um, thank you, everybody from Ghana who are, who's um, watching this. And you guys are right. He really needs to come to Ghana, definitely. Have you been? Uh, yes. It is a Bruh, really nice place. What haven't you done? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, Ghana is definitely an awesome place, and you should definitely go. Yeah. It's, like, beautiful. I'm going to go check it out. Have you been thinking about, like, college and stuff like that? Um, college, yes, actually. It'll be here faster than you know. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I really want to go to MIT because I want to be a mechanical engineer. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. That's dope. <laughs> man, don't, don't you forget me when you get up there either, man. I want you to introduce me to the crew that you recreated the uh, slow-mo video with. They here, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. I want you, get you to introduce me to everybody. First up, we have the one, the only, I say she's sassy, Janae. Okay. <laughs> call her Miss Janae, don't you? Miss Janae, what's up, baby girl? How you doing? You got your moon star glasses on? Who else we got with us? We have, okay. we have the him. one. Not them folks. <laughs> Next up, second, we have the one, the Mr. Wonderful, Kavanaugh. Oh, 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 oh. Come through here, come through here. What's up, G? You got the Step Curry jersey on? Bro, are y'all kids or like small adults? I say small adults. Then yeah, you definitely got to be. So, Miss Janae, where you from? I'm from Atlanta. Really? What part? Decatur. You from the, you from the east side? OK. You from Atlanta also? No, I'm from Maryland. Really? What part? Oh, I live in Germantown. Oh, OK. So that's like DC area? Yeah. See, I know a little little geography, man. So <laughs> what made y'all want to recreate the slow-mo shot? I want, I want the group answer. 
everybody take your time and answer that one. What are you looking home for? Uh, so should I show this again? Yeah. 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 Okay, you take it. You take <laughs> it first, then. You told me to be there. <laughs> so that's how it happened. He just called you and was like, pull up. <laughs> but um, well, something that's funny about um, us getting two Corvettes is that I had asked my mom for Corvettes, and then she said no. So then I was like, no. Yeah, I, I really wanted Corvettes. But then the day of the project, uh, I followed my mom outside, and I heard a really big engine. And then right in front of my house, I saw a real nice Corvette. And really? I was like, wow, because like, I didn't expect the Corvette. You didn't? Yeah. So, Miss Janae, what were you thinking when he called you to come over to recreate the slow-mo shot? I was happy. Really? I was, like, so happy. What was it like? You were so happy. Like, excited. <laughs> like, it really? It was, like, the best day of my life. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what did you think about it? I didn't really. I, I just, he just told me to go there and film it. <laughs> and that's I just that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> How did it turn out? Did it turn out pretty good? Yeah, just that we were freezing. You were cold. Yeah, so we cold. were so cold. Like the film crew had on uh, cold hats, gloves, and then we came out with our jerseys on. Really? But we were true professionals. No, <laughs> oh, true professionals. True professionals. Yes. That's what's so, up. What, so what grade are you in? Third, almost in the fourth. Almost in the fourth. And you? Second. Second. Y'all thinking about doing some college and writing some books also? Uh, um, I'm going to be a business owner. So. There you go. There you go. Mr. <laughs> Nate, what do you want to be when you finish school and grow up and be an, an adult? Actor. I've been, I've been inspired by a lot of people. Who is some of your inspirations? Like Sky Jackson. She's dope. She's really dope. For my favorite show, Jesse. Really? I love Jesse. Okay. So you want to be an actress? And then you're going to be a business owner. Yeah. And then you're going to be the engineer. Yes. This is this crew is rugged already. You <laughs> know that, right? We're going to take over the world. Might as well. <laughs> One day. So this is what I'm going to do. So since y'all recreated our slow-mo shot, this, I'm going to get with my crew, and then I'm going to recreate what you recreated and recreate it. <laughs> That's confusing, but okay. I think you're smart enough to get it. Yeah. So, Janae, what's been going on on the east side these days? Anything? <laughs> Decatur? School. I miss it. Really? How is it going to school online? Do you like that? I'm homeschooled. So. Well, I mean, you still have to do it on the computer, right? Or you just do straight uh, homeschool? I'm straight up homeschooled, but I have tutors. Bruh, it's something about this crew. Y'all are doing it way bigger <laughs> than the average 10-year-old, bruh. <laughs> Like, he like, nah, I'm just straight up homeschool. Ain't, ain't, ain't no Zoom. It's tutors. It's, it's paperwork and pencils. <laughs> Bruh, I love y'all, man. How long have all y'all been friends? Uh, so, me and Janae, we met. came at like seven months ago. It may have been less. In Macy's. You just yeah. met a random 10-year-old girl in Macy's? Yeah. Bro, your life is way better than mine. I promise you. You are cooler than me. Yeah. It was a funny story. Tell it I to was, me. I was looking for some shoes because I, um, I really needed new shoes. So then my mom, she ran into uh, Janae and her mother. And so your mom just, knows her mom already? Um, yeah. So they were just like, well... Yeah, they just they had met each other and they were just talking and I was just looking for some shoes. So I found some shoes and I came over to ask my mom and she thought um those looked nice. And then she was uh like I, she was like yes and then she had introduced me to Janae and then we met and then uh, the parents were talking and then me and Janae were getting to know each other. Really? And then we invited her to do uh the music video with us. Really? Yeah. So how did you and him become friends? I think our moms were met online. I think, well, like, I know our, yeah, our parents met online, I think. I think they, uh, we, they reached out to each other. Really? Well, I reached out to your mom. What? Because <laughs> 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 I have a nonprofit and at the time. What's I the name of your nonprofit? Cool and Dope. 
What do you, what is it that y'all what you do in your, at your nonprofit? Um, spread positivity. Bro, I'm linking up with y'all because y'all are out here starting businesses, and I feel like I'm lacking. So your the name of your nonprofit is Cool and Dope. Yeah, and I was going to help him with his nonprofit that he was doing. Bro, you definitely doing the right thing by keeping the right group of friends around you. Y'all all seem <laughs> yeah. to be very smart children and like-minded and goal-oriented and all of those good things. Yeah, whenever I need help, um, they drop everything that they're doing and they come down to help me. So yeah, these are two of my best friends. Really? Janae, what is it like hanging out with the boys? <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no other girl, which <laughs> I wish there was. Really? Sometimes. <laughs> So when we put this out, it's going to get a lot of views, and it's going to be a lot of people reaching out, and they're going to want to say, hey, how can I get in touch with them? It's like, do y'all have, like, social media and things of that nature? Yes. So uh, mine, you could just type in at Nicholas Buwama. Uh, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And Mr. Carlos, make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm going, I'm going to. I'm going to follow you. So do y'all do, like, TikTok and all of that stuff? Uh, TikTok, something that me and my mom started off like a long time ago, and then um, she said that we should get back on that. But uh, I think so because it's like the way that you like you're so smart. I think that that'd be the perfect platform for you because there's so many things that you could do. Yeah, I could. And you already got a crew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like you do. Man, you got, hey, if you want to go far in life, take your friends with you. Yeah, yeah that's exactly the, the, the key to, to doing good business is to have good people around you that have the same vision and the same goal that want to see the team succeed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what's your, what's your social media? Um, my social media is Cool Dope Living for Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Really? Cool yeah. Dope Living. And you? Little Glamour Girl Janae. Little Glamour Girl Janae. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. Little Glamour Girl, I think it's underscore. Yeah, underscore. Okay. Little Glamour Girl okay. underscore Janae. I'm going to have y'all put them down so I can follow y'all and we'll put it out and stuff like <laughs> That's that. That's not a name I've, for Instagram I've never heard. <laughs> <laughs> what is Glamour even? What is this Glamour? Like, like nice, like it's glamorous, like it's flashy. <laughs> I'm flashy. <laughs> you are. <laughs> spirit fingers! Everybody do spirit fingers. <laughs> so, what kind of advice do, you, do your parents give y'all when y'all doing these, you know? Just, because you, the things you're doing are way, way advanced for 10-year-old kids. Do y'all understand that? So it's like, what kind of advice do you get from your parents to keep going? Or when you get frustrated and when you get tired? You can answer first. First, when I just, you know, stay humble. Really? Yeah. That, that works? <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Um, whenever I'm frustrated or um, I am mad, my parents are there, and um, I know they always have my back. Yeah. Mm. Oh, when I'm frustrated, I just put my mind to it. And Bro, keep him around. <laughs> he, he doesn't say much, but when he does, it sticks. <laughs> he, it sticks, man. Y'all are some cool kids, bro. And I'm, I'm glad that y'all are fans of this show, because I'm definitely fans of y'all now. So I, I got to keep up with the loop, because I feel like I've been out of it for so long. I had no idea y'all were doing all these dope, cool things. Miss Janae, we got to get you in a movie or something. What, we, what can we do? Do you got people? How can we contact you? Have you been trying, like, auditions or anything like that? Um, well, I am auditioning. Well, technically not auditioning. It's because in audition, you know what role you're trying to audition for. Mm. So I made this acting reel. I act. Um, it's coming out on my Instagram soon. Okay, so you have some stuff in the works that you, okay. Yep, and I also have a YouTube channel. What's your YouTube channel? What do you post on it? I post like just random stuff. Glamour and things of that <laughs> nature. Yeah, like skincare routine. What's your skincare routine, Ms. Lady? First, you gotta start off with a good cleanser. Okay. <laughs> I recommend Cetaphil. That's a good one, especially for the exfoliating and getting all the dirt off. And then, 
so moisturizing. It's a moisturizing. Yeah. I recommend survey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Survey, survey. Cool, Serving. cool. So Serving. you're doing like product reviews and beauty tips and things of that nature? Yeah. From the 10-year-old perspective? <laughs> That's probably going to take off. Anything else y'all want to tell the people why y'all got the floor? Well, I, um, I'm also an actor. Well, really? I'm practicing acting. Why don't we do something together? Like we do like a short mini movie or something. That should be fun. That would be dope. I got a whole camera crew. We got cameras. Y'all seem to be the talent, bro. Let's do like a five minute short or something. Can you? Can you? That sounds dope. All right, we're going to do it real dope. First of all, we're going to get together. We'll have a writing meeting. And then we'll write it. And then we'll pitch it to each other. Can you? Right? And then we'll go get some money. <laughs> like, because we'll, we'll make somebody finance our five minute movie. Money? Yeah. I yeah. like cash. Really? <laughs> So we'll set it up, we'll do a whole movie, and then I'll show y'all the game, all right? Okay. I'm gonna show y'all how to get, and then we'll get some residuals, we'll get some agents, we'll get some Corvettes, we'll do a <laughs> premiere. It'll just be us, because we can't invite everybody. Okay, so I like Corvettes, but Bugatti, Venom, uh, That's a $2 million car. We're not, <laughs> we're not even about to play with them people like that. Nah, we'll, we'll, we'll stick with a Bonneville or something. <laughs> not messing with no Bugatti. So what do you want to be in our movie? So we can know what to write. What, what role do you want? I could be the sassy and flashy person. You the sassy and flashy person. And also stylish. And the stylish. Okay, so you the, you the fashionista that's flashy that keeps us humble. Yes. Okay, and then you can be the brains of the operation. I was thinking of ninja, but okay. You want to be a ninja? <laughs> now, see, now this, now our movie's coming to life, right? So you're a ninja. That's cool. I love like, that. The leader of a whole ninja clan. I have my sword. So you're flashy and glamorous. You got a ninja clan. What you want to do? I, I would oh, all ninja. That's hard to beat. And then she's like a movie star, actress, super glamorous, keep us humble, everything. What is, but you, what are you going to do? Making that money. Oh! <laughs> All right. All right. All right. I got it perfect. So you're going to be the, you're the money man, right? You're the ninja. You're the glam. I think I have an idea. So I'm the irresponsible adult. <laughs> I'll be the one no. person who, who they should have never left y'all with. What? I prefer myself as the ATM. You be the ATM. You the money man. So you just cash money. You're going to be the one bankrolling this whole operation. So right. um, she will be basically the famous one. Then I'll basically. be the one that will be protecting her from uh, the, other, okay. well, the other people, the bad guys. Right. Then he'll be her manager. And I, can't, I mean, wait, what? Her you agent, because they agent. make money together. Okay, agent. Yeah. This, this is already, so, let's, let's, so not, win, win, let's win. not say too much, because people be watching, they're going to steal our ideas. <laughs> you know that. We're going to have to cut some of that out, because I don't want, I don't want nobody to get our, our pitch. You can definitely be the Beyonce of this group, okay? Cause the Beyonce. She's the Beyonce. And I am one of her um, security guards, yeah. and that he is her agent. <laughs> right, but he's got yeah. money. So, what else? Speaking about money, my nonprofit raised four hundred and eight thousand dollars in a year. Are you serious right yeah. now? Four hundred and eight thousand dollars? Talk to me. Just <laughs> tell me tell me stuff. I don't have any more questions. How, how, how did you pull it off? I mean, I sent two 53-foot tractor trailer trucks to the Pioneer's Reservation last year in 2020. And so that got me some of the donations money. Hold mm -hmm. on, tell me how old y'all are for real. There is no <laughs> way I'm sitting on the couch with three 10-year-old millionaires <laughs> and nobody's saying nothing like this what? is just normal. Well, if my I mom- I go home and talk to my son. He ain't raised nothing. <laughs> <laughs> If my mom's 36 and she thinks that she's 20, then... That's gonna get you in trouble. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Your mama 36, let me go introduce myself. <laughs> hey, kids need somebody. They can, 
Somebody they can look up to. You know it takes a village to raise these two children. This is Mary. These kids need someone they can look up to. Amy. Bro, y'all are the coolest group of kids I have met in a long time, man. Y'all don't let this be the last time y'all come and check us out. Y'all know exactly what we are. Yeah. So come through anytime you have something you want to promote or talk about or just kick it and relax. You more than welcome to come here. Y'all want a water or a Dr Pepper or something? That's all we drink is water. <laughs> well, I drink Dr Pepper. <laughs> we got some Capri. Can you give me some Capri Suns or something. Capri Suns. Ooh, that's not yeah, better. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. We got the many friends. Oh, so yeah. Capri we trying to live over here. See, look. So this is Capri Suns. Now this is basically my job. <laughs> well, you still got the mini. Wait, what should I do with this? Just throw it on the table. Okay. Yeah, this is my job. This is what I do. <laughs> you say you want to be a business owner. This just happens to be my business. But you already get money. I should be asking you stuff. <laughs> wait, 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 what? Yeah, you see, you get to talking about money, and then it gets cloudy. Huh? <laughs> Soon, we'll be billionaires. We will own a uh, multi-billionaire company. I believe it. Okay. You know why? Because you you got the connection. Yeah, your father in Ghana and Africa, they got billions of dollars over there. They're just giving it away. And then this guy, he already knows how to get at least half a million dollars, so we good. And then we got Beyonce in our group. Well, how can we lose? Hey, um... This didn't tell us a joke or something. <laughs> wait, hold on, wait, hold on, wait, really quickly. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Ew, Mr. Calls, um, we were kind of like the Brooklyn Nets with James Harden, Kevin Durant, and Kyrie Irving. And they me, have... you left me out. Oh, I'll yeah, be yeah, like you... Blake Griffin. Uh, that's not in the group song about oh. DeAndre Jordan. DeAndre Jordan is so good. Okay, he's just going to kick me out of the group. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm Katie. Uh, she's James Harden. Then we got Kyrie Irving, the ball handler. Why can't I be Jimmy Butler or something? She want to be Jimmy Butler. Or can I be... Um, but he doesn't uh, play for uh, the Brooklyn Nets. Oh, I'm, I'm supposed yeah, to... Yeah, doing, we're doing the whole trio. Well, quadruple. You're not, if you don't want me in the group no more, just say it. Because it was four of us. And you're like, it's a trio. How about I just talk about comedy? Let's do it. What do you know about comedy? What do you know about comedy? I'm, I'm doing my best to figure it out. I don't know a lot about it. Uh, Who makes mom? you laugh? My mom. Really? Where is she? She looks like... She right there. Yeah, I, believe, I bet she's funny. What's the funniest thing your mom done lately? Can you say it on camera? I, nothing really. Nothing really? Not yet. She just says a lot of funny But you know stuff. what's not funny? What? Her pretending that her car got stolen for me and she sitting on the fire truck. What? What? Yes. Uh, you stole Santa on a fire truck. Huh? You, you. Bro, you, you got the drinking on this Capri Sun and got tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> you was giving great answers earlier. Soon as the juice hit his sister, my mama car got stolen. <laughs> Santa Claus got to ride the fire truck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Hey man, this has been another Black Excellence Spotlight. This is the future right here. So oh, proud of you. Thank y'all, man. Oh man, that was so funny.